asked for it. And we are live here, folks. Friday night, having a couple wobbly pops. A few individuals that uh, have joined me tonight. We have uh, Corbett from. Where are you from? Exactly. Uh, from Australia. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Specifically around Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. So. There we go. So we have yeah. Melbourne. We have Marty B, who is currently residing in Sweden. Yeah, I'm down in Stockholm now. Nice. So. Crazy. And then we have Mike Lowe. Yo, what up? Um, chilling up here in uh, Black Rock Mountain, New Hampshire, you know what I'm saying? Nice. And you have me chilling in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. So we are around the world tonight. <laughs> so Worldwide. Yeah. So welcome to the uh, Teach Elf um, reveal stream here for Wild Series. Um Many of you know our, our host tonight, and I appreciate you guys for jumping on. Um, should be some some fun. So we're just going to roll through the the awards first. Uh, then we're going to do the uh, season two team um, team reveals. Um, then we'll do the the wheel of doom, which is going to determine which uh, which team falls into which conference, which is always the fun part. Um, and then I ask the the panel here on their quick top five assessments there of the teams that are being revealed so so we can get right to it so if uh, mike lowe wants to announce our first uh runner up there for best captain he can go right ahead okay yeah so um for top captain uh our runner up here uh you know zero dqs uh eight two record 60.25 percent win rate we got ridiculous hat but uh Hattleship two well done. Yes. So uh, shout out to Hat, Ridiculous Hat. Yep. Crazy Hat so, Man. Um, yeah, Crazy Hat Man. Wear many hats. <laughs> yep. So uh, with him being the runner-up, that leaves uh, the winner. So uh, shout out to uh, Zero DQs, 10-0 and record, 65.58% win rate, our very own Marty B, F12. Oh, my God. Yeah, yep. Marty B. Marty Thank B. Thank you so Good. much. So can we yeah, get a, yeah. a rigged um, rigged <laughs> icon in our chat, please? Can we get a yeah, fair, I 100% rigged that. Fair rigged game. 
So. Mr. Undefeated, Mr. Worldwide. Damn. Undefeated, yo. <laughs> yeah, we were above average, I think uh, Memnark would say. Mm. It's a solid <laughs> season, yeah. Not, yeah. not, not too bad. It's De decent. Decent, so. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Decent was usually his, his uh, <laughs> other other word that he said, so. Sounds uh, like Memnark. <laughs> All right, so now we right. move on to the next category. Yeah, let's get to it. The uh, rookie of the season. Um, in second place, the runner-up is Absolute uh, for the Colt. 6-2 uh, and two record, had a really good season. So shouts to Absolute uh, as one of the rookies. Absolute. Um, not, not to take too long, real quick. Uh, Absolute's a very good player. Um, ran into him into at a tournament. And ever since, you know, just always see top 100 to 50 finishes. Um, whenever I actually put together these custom tournaments, absolute is either second place or the winner. So shout out to Absolute. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. definitely a really good player. Uh, good season for sure. Mm -hmm. And the winner as the rookie of the season was the Rotted Zombie. We love the Rotted Zombie. Uh, another 6-2 and two record uh, for F2L. Um, they're kind of sweeping here a little bit. So yeah, big shouts to Rotted on the season as well. Yeah, nice. all right. I, I call rigged on this one. Come on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I do want to point out. I want to point Stop out, the count. The record is a bit misleading because Rodden actually started 0-2 in the season. Wow. Oh. So, yeah. So, oh. yeah. Six, six game streak. Yeah. See, you you got to put that going. You got to put that in there. Okay. That's so you got you to gotta count all the rounds. You can't just stop counting also, the second this one. This is also yeah. missing some other things. Uh, Rodden went 12 and or 15 and 1. Whew. During those next five games, yeah. He had four sweeps in a row. Damn. Good lord. Insane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah he's <laughs> he's saying he's okay in chat. That's, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay, Rod. It's average. Yeah. <laughs> so. You're, <laughs> You're decent. <laughs> You're adequate. You're adequate at what you're doing there, buddy. Yeah, Neji would get mad at me if I were to call him our five seed. So I'm not going to go that far. All yeah, right. he's uh, he's decent. <laughs> there you go. I got to write that somewhere on uh on the screen. <laughs> Memnark says decent. So, okay, let's go to the uh, comeback player of this season. Yeah. So comeback player. This one's only a little bit rigged. So first, <laughs> our runner-up was me for MF2L. Okay. Oh. At three and four last year, or last season, I should say. And went six and two this season, so did a little better. Pretty happy about that. But uh, I did not do as well as first place, and they went from two and five to seven and one between seasons. <laughs> An insane improvement. Nice. Simping ain't easy, Fods. right? Yeah, that goes to Snake Fods. Snake Fods, you were insane. Yep. You were nuts last season. I don't even know if I can even call you above average Man. decent. Seven and one is nutty. So congrats to that. You're pretty. You're pretty okay, dude. So. All right. That's amazing. Um, I I want to add something. It might yeah. it might be relevant here. So, that record. What series is this? This is the Wild series. The wild series, dude. Okay. Oh, yeah. perfect. So, um, I really like to see this because I went seven and one, and I got runner up MVP. And the one loss that I did have <clears throat> was to Snake Fods. <laughs> so that just speaks to There's... the level of power Snake Fods has. So there you go. I, I like seeing that. Who... Glad I'm coming back. Hold Glad on. Who beat back. Snake Fods this season? Um, oh. Was that during the playoffs? I don't know if it includes playoffs or not. But uh, This does not include playoffs. But whoever beat them, that means they're probably going to be. I thought I streamed this. That's... For MVP? Probably based. I don't know. I Maybe didn't see it, honestly. Well, I, I remember. I remember it. streaming it, and Snake Fod just saying, "I'm gonna lose." It's like, what the hell, dude? You're you're <laughs> you're, you're seven and zero or six and zero at that time, I think. Uh, but see, that's the luck. I was I was playing all my games on stream, and I won every game except for one on stream. And I'm like, damn, I love THL. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Saki, you do have one more for us, right? We do, yeah. And it's um, I think it. I can't remember how what the letters are, but it's. MVP. Oh. So. Hmm. I like those. Yeah. So second. Great combination. Second place in uh, the Wild Series in season one is Bay Stink. 
she was a Haddle Ship 2, and then came in with a 6 and 2 record, 21 and 9 re- um, matches. One, I guess. Uh, almost got the uh, 69 69, but she got 66.69. Oh, almost. Weighted Unlucky. game wins. Yeah. So, congrats <laughs> to, to Based. Terrific player. Um, and really was kicking, kicking butt the, all last season for the. Um, God, what was it called? Uh, just overall in all the series that she was playing in. So yeah, she's just insane. Yeah, yeah, basically a great player. player. I played against her in the playoffs in the first in uh, Alpha season. Uh, mm-hmm. Very terrific player. Yeah, and for number one, speaking of some some fods, we got snake fods again. Simpin ain't Once easy. Again. Yep, at 71, 21 and eight. And a 68.38 weighted game win. So, congrats to Sneak Fods on the MVP of the Season 1 in Wild Series. Any any added thoughts from our from our panel? Um, congrats to Sneak Fods. It's, uh, it's very exciting to see this. So, uh, our first MVP for Alpha was Bill Snyder. Now we got Sneak Fods. So, um, I'm excited to jump back in the mix because uh, I want to get back. I want to get back there, man. Like... I'm still mad at myself. I rewatch that series all the time, and like I lethal for five turns against ridiculous high. <laughs> so uh, why'd you wait, man? Know. Why'd you wait? <laughs> I don't know. Just you know, the spotlight, <laughs> the nerves, the stage. Uh, yeah, well, you're gonna have to steal it from us this season. There you go. Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys rose to power, so it's gonna be a great challenge. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. So let us uh, let us rip over to the wild series team reveal. I'm going to start off with Mike Lowe announcing the first first group. Just going to hide the wheel <clears throat> in the conferences because I was stupid. So, let's see. There you go. It's up on the screen now, dude. Oh, I was, gonna, I was in the uh, messages. Oh, oh, okay. The super, super, super secret uh, sheet, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not going to be secret <laughs> too much anymore. So Yeah, they didn't know. Secrets out. All right, so our first team reveal, uh, F12 Iridian uh, coming in at the one. We have Corbett coming at the two, Atachi coming at the three, Neji. At the four, we have Marty B as the captain. Yep. And at the five, Rotted Zombie. I fully believe none of these seeds matter. Every single one of these guys is lethal, so watch out, everyone. <laughs> Seriously, watch out. <laughs> so there is a bit of an error there. So Neji insists on being the five seed. Okay. So Okay. Yeah, yeah. He he says he is the championship five seed, so okay. my mistake, I didn't put him oh. in the five seed. He claims I should put him down there. Rotted may disagree. Okay. Oh, now, I'm fight over that. <laughs> now is there a typographical error with rotted zombie? Does it go by the rotted zombie or just rotted zombie or Oh yeah. So, I believe for um, just Twitch stuff and THL, he goes by the Rotted Zombie. But okay. for THL, he put in Rotted Zombie specifically. Okay. Okay. So, I get work. It. Like, as artists go through their career, they kind of <clears throat> age and their different names and shut off different parts. I get it. I get it. Yeah. 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 We all yeah. love him regardless. So <laughs> oh, definitely. We all yeah. love the Rotted Zombie. Yeah. All right. It's better with time. Like, fine wine. <laughs> So I wonder what that makes me, because I'm pretty old. Anyway, um, next team we have Corbett. Yeah, next team uh, we have Made in Heaven. <laughs> um, so we have Snake, Mentalistic, uh, Kyra HX, Peanuts, and Nefala. Um, Snake obviously swept uh, some of the awards there with the MVP and Comeback Player. Uh, so yeah, uh, shouts to them. Know some of these names, like Mentalistic as well. So yeah. Yeah, um, so I did a little bit of research on these guys. Mentalistic, we all know, because he played in the Alpha season, and he's very well known around Wild Circles as a top player. Snake Fod speaks for himself. Kyrex, I did a little bit of research on, and Kyrex is coming from, I believe, UCLA. I know it's a California TESPA team Okay. that they played for, and they reached the finals. Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. So, so they oh. are an excellent player. I don't know how they are in wild, but I do know they are pretty capable in other formats. So Nafola has played. We know what to expect with Nafola as well. Peanuts is a bit of a new face. That's a bit 
more of an unknown, in my opinion. So we'll have to see how they perform. But this team is looking pretty solid. I think the team looks solid. Um, so the three through five seed, I'm not familiar with. Um, but I will obviously, you know, take the information you guys have on them. But um, our first two, uh, Snake Fives and Mental, I definitely am familiar with. Excuse me for the background noise. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited to see the moves they can make. And uh, He's just playing the their theme do. music, that's all. Yeah, it's just, you know, my intro music, wherever I go, it just comes <laughs> glorious. So uh, <laughs> I'm excited to see where the Wheel of Doom puts us off. There you go. All right, we get Marty B jumping in with the third team. All right. Next up, we have Hair Club. So this is a fun one. This is basically Tempo Storm and Friends. <laughs> oh, we got goodness. White Delight, the captain, Concerned Mom, Keith Numbers, Burnt, and Otters. So we all know White Delight for his nefarious shaman brews last season and just in general. Concerned Mom, the original big priest and eternal mage guy in Wild. Uh, Keith Numbers, who has a fantastic stream. I, Any of you have ever not heard of him? So just you go and subscribe to him, go watch his stream, submit a deck. No matter how bad the deck is, he'll climb with it. It's insane. <laughs> Burnt is just a fantastic guy. Loves his druid. And Otters is just... Otters is a real grinder. I've seen this guy as high as rank 50 and as low as rank 1500. He's just <laughs> all over the place when it wow. comes to all different kinds of decks. But he gets there. I don't know how he does it. Solid player. Yeah, this team's uh, a lot of very like familiar names um, for the WoW community. As you said, it's very much that kind of Tempo Storm and Friends uh, type feel. So yeah, I like a lot of these guys. I think they're pretty much uh, very, very solid players all around. Uh, I think this is one of the stronger teams um, that I can see here. So yeah, I'd expect kind of good things from him uh, throughout the season. Um, as a Temple community member, I recognize every single one of these names. Uh, <laughs> so the second this popped up... Uh, I kind of got nervous. Um, I get nervous because. <laughs> what you gonna get nervous were, about, man? Well, you know, no, like because like you know, respect. My yeah, stream, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I watch them a lot. So I yeah. know, like, like that first team, like F12 Radiant, like this one, Common Radar, like a different team did as well. Of course, I know I'm confident for my team, but I'm just saying, this feels different from Alpha season, where like these teams like seem solid, where I see them one through five. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely a shout out to. Uh, once again, not to kiss your butt, but F12 Viridian and Hair Club and one more team coming up soon. But this team looks stacked right here. I'm excited. Okay. And I get to announce the fourth team here. So, drum roll. Mad Scientists. We got Catharsis as the captain. Uh, number Theory. Uh, not sure if it's J.Ames. Um, 1099. We got Tomat Zero or Tomat Tomato. And then we got some scrub FBM too. So uh, Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where Reggie came in from FBM too, but maybe maybe you guys have a little bit more history than I do. So his Discord username is the Register. Okay. And that I that uh, I remember, but uh, the... Yes, and that is where Reggie comes from. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ties right so into yeah, FBM uh... too. <laughs> Yeah, FBM too. Uh, he's one of the two names I recognize here, along with uh, Tomato. Uh, FBM is genuinely like a very strong standard player, uh, I believe. So I know they're a little bit less experienced in Wild, but if they're the fifth seed here, um, I wouldn't be shocked if they kind of move up over the season. Uh, the first three seeds, I'm not super familiar with. Uh, do you guys know too much about them? Yes, Katsuki yeah, uh, and Number sorry, Theory. They but... both played. Yeah, they both played in previous mm -hmm. series or previous seasons. Mm -hmm. I believe Catharsis, ha in particular, has messed in standard. They're usually a three seed, I want to say, in things like Legacy. Mm -hmm. So they're not bad. They can hold their own. They rarely hit Legend in Wild. Number Theory, I believe, does the same thing. James, 1099, is the only one I'm really not familiar with, personally. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, you had some more to add? Yeah, I was just going to say, Catharsis and Number Theory, I'm familiar with from previous series. Um I know that, uh, and, and also Tomato, but uh, number theory, very solid, very strong player. So I like this team right here. Decent team. There we go. <laughs> it's out there. So now we got Mike Lowe announcing the, the fifth team. So just for our viewers out there, we have about 14 teams to announce. Um, 
Uh, numbers come and shrunk a little bit this uh, this season, but that's that's quite okay. We still have plenty of interest with five players per team, so it's mm -hmm. really good turnout. So here we go. All right. So this next team, uh, it's going to be a, a Noyo team. Um, just had this guy on the podcast last week. So coming in at the one, we have Duwin HS. At the two, we have Bat Massel. At the three, MTG Squirrel. At the four, for the captain, it's me, Mike V. And to five, Slight. Um, I'm familiar with all these names. Uh, I remember this team from Alpha Season. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, if, if I'm going to, you know, choose who's going to win in a certain week with this team, it definitely will come down to, like, uh, matchups and experience. Because mm -hmm. I know these, these players, like, very technical, cerebral guys. Especially um, Bat Massel and Doing. So, like, and, and Mike V. Not to leave Mike V out there, but, like, I watch Matt Bassel and Doing a lot. So, this team right here, definitely keep your eye on them. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Muddy. Oh, thank you. Um, these guys, there's a reason why they made the finals last season. Um... You have three of the same guy, or four of the same guys that were on the team last season. Um, I believe Matt in Arms wasn't able to continue with the Wild Series, and Yada stepped in, but Yada wasn't able to continue this season. Okay. So having Bat Massile is pretty much just a side grade, in my opinion. Uh, both were excellent players. Yada was really spooky for us in the finals last season. And if we were facing Bat, we would still feel the same way. Yeah, um, the same, uh, again, like the same thing that you guys are saying, very familiar names, um, some very uh, strong players as well. With uh, Bat in particular, I think Bat genuinely is like a, an excellent pickup, like one of the best pickups that you could have asked for. Um, you know, finds himself in top 10 legend every so often, okay. you know, did the whole like China versus EU NA series currently. Um, so really good. Uh, like you said, they made the finals last season, so, you know, proved their way that way. Um, so yeah, they're, they're very well-rounded and again, would expect the same kind of result. All right. Who's up next? We got Corbett. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we have the Wild THL Fanatics. Um, so we have Electric Sheep, uh, Draco, uh, Unlimited Power, Mike Low, and Dr. BOMD. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah let's, let's get into it. What do you think? Four seed looks kind of sus. So, mm, Seems yeah. trash. <laughs> <laughs> they're not fanatic Mike this is your team so I think of all of us you would be the most qualified to give us a rundown please alright so um, last season I had to uh, step back um, a couple things came up so I'm mm -hmm. looking to pick up where I left off like I said before um, in the alpha season I was just one win away from MVP we had made the finals every week um, everyone in chat and on cast, you know, mm -hmm. voted against us, except Memnark. Shout out to Memnark. Um, except for the week we had to play against him. And then he was like, I'm not picking Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the finals and uh, kind of fumble it there. So not to knock anybody. Obviously, anybody who's worth their salt will bring their own. But the way we play on our team, it's like we got to play perfect. And the first person to make an error will lose the match. So that's the level of skill and talent we're bringing. I'm excited to get back in the mix. And I'll be at the four for a little while, but I won't be there for a long time. I promise that. I'm ready to bring the heat. Nice. Um, I mean, that was a hell of a sub job, Mike. Like, I'm, I'm buying in. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, Warren, baby, let's do it. He's going for the top. He's going number one. Yeah, I got to say, I'm always sleeping on THL Fanatics. Can't really do it much anymore. So, looking forward to it. How many? Well, I noticed a few, quite a few names. Um, just basically through uh, the other players playing in other series. I think it's legacy for uh, Doctor Bomb. Plus, he's playing in pro pro series as well. Um, mm -hmm. Don't know about Draco Cat, but uh, I think they only play specific wild. Is that correct? Can't remember. Uh, anyway. Draco does play standard. Does he? Uh, yeah. yeah. Played Draco Cat in standard <clears throat> quite a bit. Okay. I think they've been in other series. And I know Unlimited Power is captaining a pro team as well. All right. I should have mentioned that. I apologize, uh, Power. Yep. Captain a pro team. Good call. Cool. And Draco, yeah, he streams like every weekday 
right? Yeah, maybe on Saturdays too, but yeah, he's streaming standard in homie case. He's untrolled yeah. once in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up. Ready be. All right. Everyone's a winner. This is one of the other teams we were discussing when we talked about strong teams. We got Absolute in the one. Ooh. Absolute captaining this. Spoke to Absolute, or someone I know spoke to Absolute early on in the offseason. Absolute said he was going to go and make his own team, get a few of his friends, and uh, he did exactly that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's him, Battle Tagger, who is currently rank one overall in uh, the America server, I believe. Wow. Then we have okay. Faye Guren in the three, JJJ in the four, who is also an excellent player, and finally Sunday, who shouldn't be a five seed but because oh, of the way this team is built because of the way this team is built yeah matson he's in the five so Ooh. this is this team's spooky yeah yeah hey, this like, team is uh oh, sorry go ahead. uh this team is very much filled with like players that are regularly top 100 um you know absolute uh, uh Fagurin, uh Tagger and JJ's regularly there playing Reno Priest. Uh, Sunday tends to mess around a little bit, but he, he also gets up there. Um, yeah, this is an absurdly deep team. Um, it, it really is crazy when you kind of recognize every sort of name. Uh, so, you know, Tagger, like you said, rank one, very frustrating for me because he won't let me have it for more than one minute at a time. <laughs> he he instantly takes it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think this team's really, really good uh, on paper for sure. Yeah, just to uh, add a little bit of the little bit there. Uh, like I mentioned before, when we were talking rookie of the season, Absolute came in second. Um, I mentioned like Absolute is always placing high in, in tournaments that I put on or winning them. So to see this team right here, like I'm really excited for this man. Like Absolute, we got Tagger, JJ, Sunday. Like this is gonna be sweet. Figorin, like let's go. Everyone's a winner here. <laughs> yeah, there's a, exactly. There's, yeah. there's a song. A great, it? Everyone's a winner, baby. That's a great team name. I'm trying to remember who's saying that. Anyway, I'm old. All right. Doesn't matter. F2 is going to take it. <laughs> That's the speech. I, was, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Rigged. <laughs> yeah. Got to hit mute. Get a presidential debate. Got to hit mute. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's not in Switzerland right now. Uh... Anyway. Yes. We digress. So I'm bringing in the seas of cheese. So we got Slad, Blue Sombrero, uh, Siege, who's the captain. Scritch, and then we got THL Loomer or Lemur. Some veterans there from THLs. Uh, Slot's been around for a while. Blue Sombrero has pretty much been a, a staple in the THL for the longest time in standard series. Um, same as Scritch, and then Loomer's been around since uh, pretty much the inception of THL. So, um, was a little bit surprised. I thought Sage was uh, was still captaining the ship here, but looks like everybody mutinied and gave it to Siege. Siege, or Sage. <laughs> Siege guess. was actually captain last season as well. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Yes, Siege. Well, Siege was captain from the start. Oh, so mm -hmm. he's the one that picked up Sage. Yes, this was always Siege's team. Okay, for some reason I oh. thought it was Sage for some reason. Yeah, me too. Because oh. also the meme of they never had C's in the on the uh, the broadcast. It was just Sea of Cheese. <laughs> That was that was oh a while ago. You have to be there. Inside joke. Oh my enough. god. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Siege gave me gave me yeah. a hard time for that one. <laughs> <laughs> all in good fun. Yes. Yeah, all good fun. So Angel veterans here. Good team. Solid team. Yeah. Liking it. Yeah. Don't sleep on that one seed. Slot is better than you'd think. Deadly. All right. Back to Mike Lowe. All right, let's do it. So <clears throat> the next team we have is called the Entertainers. Coming in at the one is Swash Murgler. At the two, Heat Shock. At three, Yo Daddy. Not your real daddy, but Yo Daddy. At the four, we have Cherub. And at the five, Vapad. What do you guys think of this team here? So People know Heat Shock from the Standard Series. Scrub. This is his yep. first four way into the Wild Series. I want to say Heat Shock seems like the kind of player that would bring Togwaggle Mill Combo Druid. If anyone paid attention to the Wild Summit Series that just happened, a Chinese player brought 
a strange druid deck where you pretty much combo on turn six with um, gadgets and auctioneer. You draw through your entire deck, play a weapon, uh, play the the twig, tree, twig, whatever. Yes, the twig, yeah. twig, twig. I'm bad with names. Not play twig, twig, but twig. Yeah, no, twig. <laughs> yes. You break the twig with sphere of sapiens, and then you tog waggle and naturalize a bunch to mill your opponent f for lethal damage. Wow. Heat shock is the kind of person to bring a deck of that level, in my opinion. And he will win with it. So he's got that. The bar has been set. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. So when he, since he's a mage specialist uh, through, um, gosh, that name is escaping me now. For uh, oh, vicious syndicate. So he's a mage specialist there. So when, when, what type of mages are, are running wild in wild? You know, you know, concerned mom recently showed me a wild version. Of a standard deck that showed up recently, I think it's up Heat Shock's alley. It's um, very similar to Turtle Mage, where okay. you play Vargoth, then you potion of illusion your Vargoth, play the copy, and then you the Vargoth potions of illusions itself, so you get four mm -hmm. copies of Vargoth in hand. The next turn, you play Mask of Cthulhu and drop three Vargoths, mm -hmm. and that does forty damage oh. to yep. your opponent, and four. you can do that twice. So you have an 80 damage combo, basically, over wow. four turns. That sounds like something I see Heat Shop bringing. Okay, I need to go net deck this list uh, right <laughs> after the show. Um, but... I was going to ask <laughs> your thoughts here, Corbett. Uh, yeah, so there's only a couple of players that I'm super familiar with here, uh, Yo Daddy and Vapard. Um, I am interested always when some, you know, some really good standard players kind of make their first, uh, you know, dive into wild, like you're talking about with Heat Shock. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out when players aren't as experienced, but they're very solid. Um, so yeah, I, for me, this is very much a, a wait and see uh, on how some of these names go, because I'm not too, super familiar. Okay. Now you're next up with the next team. All right, uh, Bash Bros 2, Electric Boogaloo, uh, love the name. We have Reverb, a Rice Bowl, a Nubinator, Jail Storm, and Mr. Python. Uh, so Reverb is captaining. Um, yeah, <laughs> what do you guys think of this? Uh, any of you guys too familiar with uh, a lot of these players? Yeah, so this is pretty much the same team as last season, but you are swapping out Zeroshio for Rice Bowl. And... Nothing against Zeroshio, but that means that one player won't be bringing Paladin every week, which could be a good thing, since that means they won't be very predictable. Mm -hmm. So otherwise, yeah, Bass Bros kind of proved themselves last season. They were the top seed in the Blue Conference. Okay. They were solid mm -hmm. there, and I expect another pretty good season from them. Yeah, Rice Bowl is a player that, um, so they're, they're the ring in, right? They're the addition. Um, I recognize them a lot from like the Vicious Syndicate wild chats uh, in the wild Discord stuff. Um, yeah, they're always like kind of talking and chatting about the game and stuff. So they're the person I'm familiar with. Reverb as well. Um, <laughs> kind of friends with him. So wish him the best, captain of the squad. And yeah, should be, should be, you know, if they had a solid season last season, don't see why it would change too much this time. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We had Reverb on um, a few weeks ago on the Wild Show, and he did mention all you Aussies know each other in real life too. Oh yeah, there's only like twelve <laughs> of us in the entire country, yeah. so oh, we wow. all hang out. It's true. God. Yeah, yeah. So that okay, that makes total sense now. <laughs> it does happen in Canada once in a while when we when we occasionally uh, have an igloo conference. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marty, you're up next, dude. All right, next up, we have... Oh, man, I'm going to sound like a sellout. Twitch.tv oh slash MTG Succulent. Can, can you say that again, mm. please, just for succulent's sake? I'm sorry, oh, what was I'm that? Sorry. Yeah. Twitch.tv <laughs> slash MTG Succulent. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't get yeah. the succulent right, part, perfect. but that, that's good. Perfect, perfect. So... Uh, <laughs> Surprisingly, this is uh, captained by Succulent. What? what? I'm shocked. Yeah, I know. It's huh? a shocker. So we got free V-Bucks, 
DMH Abuser, Mountain Man, Maxi Bomb, and Succulent. So free V Bucks and DMH Abuser are both legend players that are friends of Succulents. Thanks, Mike. I actually spoke to Succulent about this. They're a bit new to the competitive scene, but they have Succulent to help them out, so expect them to hold their own. Maxi, um, I compared him to a wild version of Gabby, though some may disagree. All I can say is he got rank one legend and he was 12 years old. What? Oh. Yeah, he's yeah. 12. He finished one on EU and I think finished three on NA in the same season. I think in October or November. Um, so yeah, Maxi, a uh, you know very but talented player. Um, Mountain Man tends to mostly specialize in like aggro druid for the most part, so that kind of stuff. But regularly see him in sort of like top 50, top 100 kind of range. Um, and Succulent, yeah, another another player who's you know been rank one before uh, in that kind of top 100 kind of thing. So those last three players and the three through five seed, I'm quite familiar with. But you talked about. Uh, v Bucks and DMH Abuser kind of being a little bit newer to the competitive side, so it'll be interesting to see you know how they pick that up. But a pretty solid team overall, I'd say. Thanks. So again, Marty, what was that? What was the team's name again? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> let, let me let me get my. Uh, you my go go get your bifocals. Yeah, I was going to say uh, get your bifocals. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it is now. Write this down. Okay. Twitch.tv mm. slash MTG Succulent. That's okay. twitch.tv mm. slash MTG Succulent. Okay. So Got then we it. get now we get royalty kickback. So thank you very much, MTG Succulent. <laughs> so all right. Next one is myself. Hey loser. And number one loser is Memnark. Then we got Rami, <laughs> Clone, Skittles, and then Roni. With Pasca as the captain of Hey Loser. Everybody's favorite little gnome dude buddy. Any uh, Rami being uh, the pro of the group. Um, last couple of conversations I've had with Rami. Um, when he was on stream, he's a super, super nice guy. Um was curious about Wild Series and and, uh, and the THL itself, so he's he was really happy to be on stream and 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 go up against the best. So, yeah, super yeah, strong so, player. So what I do know is that Roni was brought in from Rami. They're okay. both from Argentina. Okay. I don't know too much about Roni. I know he played a bit of standard, so maybe he's new to Wild. Maybe not. All mm -hmm. I know is because he has Rami and Memnark. He'll be in a very good spot. And I can probably say the same about Clone and Skittles. Yep. Oh, Memnar is a Master Story player. Okay. Oh, Perfect. I'm... Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Clone is top 100. So, so we're getting hot yeah, off clone... the presses from, from Memnark there. So uh, from what I know press. about Clone, uh, when it comes to Wild, he says uh, Wild is a joke. Okay, clone. I did not see you in top 100 wild yet. I know you hung around top 200, and I'm not gonna say anything on stream, but I have some strong feelings about that, and I will speak to your manager later. Um, <laughs> All right, Pascas will be getting that DM very soon. Yes, yes, you yes. will. So. Uh, that's funny. So, any, uh, um, go ahead, Corbin. If anyone is in the is on the wild ladder, they'll notice like as you climb up. It's a bit more compressed than standard. I think most of us will agree. As you climb up, top 200 is probably closer to like top 1,000 in standard. And then when you really get up there, there's a huge uh, skill curve. And it's yeah, much more I, significant than what you would see in standard. I, yeah, I tend to multiply it by like 10 to 15 in my head. <laughs> like that's kind of like the conversion <laughs> rate. So if someone's like 200 in wild, that's usually like a like a high to mid legend player like top 2000 maybe okay. in standard um but yeah uh i mean the fact that they have rami and memnar because a great baseline it's interesting that pasca is pasca the only captain that isn't actually playing in the series from what i can say uh, i think, think so. so yeah so this is like power creeps 2.0 kind of thing um they've made three changes um power creeps had a pretty solid run in the playoffs last season Yep. Uh, so yeah, they, it looks like they'll, you know, if they have like Master Tour players uh, in Roni and stuff, 
um, you know, they should have a good one. They should have a good time this season. Yeah, so uh, like I said earlier, um, I was looking at Marty's team, um, Hair Club, and uh, this is that third team that I caught my eye. Um, so with every team, to show everybody respect, my team will be doing thorough practice every week, two a days, but these are the three teams. <laughs> <laughs> these are the three uh, teams. Only two? That... Yeah. Okay. For these three teams, my, these are the three days, you know, where we're playing three times a day um, to practice for. But uh, I'm excited, man. Like, obviously, to play in this league, you got to have some kind of confidence and skill level. But, like, those three teams outside of mine, like, that's what I'm looking at. So this team right here, it, it's going to be awesome. Like, Roni's a master choice player. Clone is top 100. I know Skittles. Uh, I know Memnark. And um, I got to say nice stuff about Rami because Rami commented on my tweet today about the tournament. So, mm, see? Uh, you there know, you go. Appreciate it, Rami. Yeah. 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 Mike, just wait. It's going to be just like last season, and we're all going to end up in the same conference. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The no, Wheel no. of Doom is coming. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can feel it. Oh, man. All right. So <laughs> who's up next? Um, we got Michael. Yo. All right. Let's do it. So this last team, Ghosts of Fell Screams, captain by, I'm sorry, our one seed, Doc McButt. <laughs> Good friend of mine, yep. At two, uh, Casual R. At the three, Cadbury Leg. That's funny. That's funny right there. <laughs> At the four, my wild podcast co-host, Nate Wolf TCG, making his comeback to the league based nice. series format. Caught myself there. And at the five, we have Wildcard. Wildcard HS. What do you guys think of this team right here? Uh, this was a funny team because... Um... It was kind of halves together last minute, I believe, right? Yeah. Where mm -hmm. the captain believed that it was three players per team, and they needed oh. to scrape together two more players within <laughs> the final forty-eight hours. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, so. that's that's my boy Doc McButt there, who's who's uh, of Swagoy um, team, uh, the gaming club yep. there. So, but he's an he's an he's, excellent he's captain. A, he's a, He's a doctor, dude. He's got a lot of a lot on his mind. He's very busy. Drink. Um, yes. you know, I can't blame him for letting mm -hmm. this slip. Can't blame him. Nope. Don't yeah. don't let the doctor's surgery stuff slip, but let this slip. Let no, know. no, yeah. <laughs> priorities, right? Um no, very happy to see Nate. Nate back here. Uh you know, love Nate. Um so that's kinda cool. Uh, given that he gave it a miss last time. So that's always yeah. nice. It's All gonna right. be cool. I'm excited for them. I'm excited to see what they can do. So you got one more team. One more team. So it's going to Corbett. Oh, do we? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes there is one more team. Last oh, minute. someone else can take that. On the on the image, I have the none other. All right, I got this. Okay. I got this. I don't mm -hmm. have that sheet. No, no, yeah. no. It wasn't, are, wasn't on the uh, sheet. Right, above, yeah. right uh, above the sheet. So this is Patches Payback. We got Jerry Damage captaining. He is actually the second captain that is captaining but not playing. He, mm -hmm. One of the only two. So... In the one, we have Serlos, then we got Lefty, Dirty Mike, Tony Montana, and Brushy Tuna. Surprised they kept the Patches Payback name, really. It should just be Dirty Mike and the boys, if you ask me. <laughs> Dirty Mike and the boys. <laughs> Long time team for, for Standard, and they've been playing Legacy for, for 100 million years. So Jerry's uh, been been with THL for uh, well, almost since its inception, so... They just want to hang around and have fun. Wanted to try the the wild series, and and um, unfortunately, they still have tuna on the team. So, <laughs> sorry about your luck. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know how to follow up with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, with that being said. Yeah, with that being said, that turns us uh, turns our focus to the wheel of doom. Ooh. So. We have two conferences that were mentioned earlier on in the stream. So we have Green Conference and we have Brown Conference. So we're going to spin for Brown Conference first. Um, I'll let you guys announce. Now I may have some squeaks and some oohs and ahs coming out of me, but I'm not going to announce the team So because I get to see it before oh, you guys no. do. So we'll see how oh, fast it shows no. up on Marty's and, and, and Corbett's uh, stream compared to, compared to Mike's. Since we're around the world, Let's do it. yes, I'm very curious. <laughs> okay, first spin of the wheel. 
we go. Ghosts of Fell Screens Past. Yep. Going into the Brown Conference. Jeez, am I gonna be able to fit this all on the screen? Just a boat. All right, who wants to get the next one? Okay. Next, uh, one. next bin. My credit. Let's see. For the Green Conference, we have Made in Heaven. Yes, Made in Heaven headed to the Green Conference. Greener pastures. Okay, brown. Bash Bros 2, Electric Boogaloo, going to Brown. Two of the longest names in, in uh, the Wild Series right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. You only need three letters. I don't get it. You only need three letters. Yeah, they're going to give me a hard time when I, uh, when I make my trademark Wild Sheets. There you go. Green Conference. Everyone's a winner. Spooky, spooky. Ooh, here we go. Excellent. Brown conference. Ooh, annoyal team. Spelling is good. Okay. Green. Patches payback. Welcome to green. Not a very big spin for brown, but... Mad, Mad scientist. Oh, my bad. Oh, sorry. I probably went out of order. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> you got the next one. All right. Green conference. Green conference. The entertainers. Yes. Welcome. Green conference. Entertainers. Brown Conference. Whoa, it's uh, seas of seas. seas of cheese. Yes, or sea of cheese. Uh, if you want to type like that. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Green Conference. Ooh. F2 over Indian. Oh. All right, here we go. Mm. There's the winners, guys. Uh, you can pack it up now. <laughs> so now we can start to see where things are going. Green is All free. Right. That's what I heard. Okay. Yep. You can go ahead and just put us in brown. You think? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. uh... <laughs> hey, loser. <laughs> All right. One more, well, two more teams to, sorry, three more teams. Three more. So we're on green right now. Oh, oh hair club in green. Oh. Nice. All right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Brown. See it. There it is. Why not have all the... Longest. Let's go. Yes. Names. The death conference. It's official. <laughs> there it is. It was bound to happen. Let's do it. Okay. And then the ceremonial last spin. I don't know who's going to win it, but. Mm -hmm. 
No, it's close. This is how you decided the awards yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there we go. All right, Tucho. There we have it. Oops. Yeah, we got picked last. Right, right on theme. It's awesome. Yeah, there you go. So, so I am there. just going to. Do... You doing a screenshot? Screenshot that, and I will crop it and put it in. Jeez. THL Discord in one second. And to answer your question, we don't know what the playoff format's going to be, but it should be fun. I uh, I really like that we only have two conferences, to be honest. Um, I think it's kind of nice. It means that it's going to be a bit more of a mix-up in terms of opponents compared to just seeing the same faces every four weeks kind of thing. So yeah. I'm actually very happy about this, yeah. Yeah, this should be very interesting, in my opinion. Where last season, we didn't really see... Um, we didn't see much competition, like, across conferences. Where mm -hmm. where teams... Like, conferences didn't feel equally balanced. And this will feel much more balanced now. Where last season, everyone was just playing the same people over and over. You're only facing four other teams, and you didn't really get to see all these other players. This season, yeah. you'll see more players. There'll be a wider variety of competition. And I think the good teams will have a better chance to shine, because last season, we saw with Wild THL Fanatics finishing fourth in the Green Conference, but then making top eight pretty easily mm -hmm. so it's i think that was a bit telling in terms of the level of competition among conferences hopefully we won't see that as much of an issue this time yeah it seems to be like i understand if it gets into there was like 15 teams last season right so it's yeah it wouldn't be a, a lot of teams to divvy up unlike um let's say the 24 and legacy which turned into eight eight teams per per conference. So mm -hmm. so that yeah. that was like that that seems to be a better a better side of um you know getting the the rotation out of the teams it doesn't the season itself is not super long either. Um so yeah, I think <clears throat> um F2O was speaking internally about this and some of the ideas this is just for the board and for anyone who's interested just toss ideas out there too what we were thinking was having the top three teams make it from each conference mm -hmm. and then the final two could either be the out large point getters or a um a wild card matchup for mm. the next two teams in the conference so fourth and fifth would have a match together and the winner of that would decide the fourth seed in that conference Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm down for that idea. I like this. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, there's a few different ways to go about it. It gives mm -hmm. teams who might have had a more difficult conference an easier time of getting in and proving their worth, which I feel while well, TGL Fanatics deserved that last season. And you still don't have the issue of the season going on forever. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, the uh, the NBA has just done the same thing where they're just doing a, a wild card kind of play-in. So THL right there on the cusp, cutting edge of uh, playoff technology with the wild card. I think that'd be really good to, to just make it, it a little bit more fun. I also heard THL was setting up a bubble. They're going to fly us out. We're going to quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Facility. Oh, really? We're all heading to Don Day's house. Down this. Yeah, all heading to Don Day's house. Uh... <laughs> but I, don't, be, I don't know if I'm going to get to Florida right now, Mike. I'm going to be honest. I don't know oh, if no, I no, want no, my no, bubble no, there. No, no, no. no you, you misunderstood. This is my advantage as an American to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm going to come here. The bubble is somewhere else. The yeah. bubble will yeah, be here in Australia. Yeah, Canada or Australia. There you go. The no so. bubble here. Just come here. There's no sunlight whatsoever. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no right. sunlight in Sweden? Uh, we had one sunny day this month so far it's been cloudy for the rest and the amount of daylight we actually get is like i don't know five four, and a half hours four, i was gonna say four or five hours. oh you got yeah. you got me beat i get nine hours of sunlight a day yeah it's uh five Damn. it's pretty rough but it's okay yeah. it's winter it's a great time 
to stop by. Yeah. This guy smiling. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mike, we're going to give uh, give you the opportunity to throw out the quick top five that you think. All right. <clears throat> so, my top five going into this season. Uh, and uh, I can't say in no particular order because this is the exact order. Right. So, yeah. hopefully hopefully nobody, uh, you know, takes it too serious. We're, but, we're uh, expecting Corbett to have the exact order of who's going to be top five. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it'll be yeah exact at the end of the season. All right. Um, so my fifth, my fifth seed. I'll be. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna hook up Nate, my boy Nate. He's coming back. He had to drop out, but uh, he's got some free time. You know, saying things are going, coming back together for him. So I'm gonna give his team Ghost of Fell Screams the five seed. Whew. Even though I was told that they came together at the last minute, I know as a team that you know gets counted out every week. This could be just what they need. The conference they're in, they just threw the team together. Everything feels rushed, but they might just need that energy to bring it together. So I'll give them the five. Um, looking at the four, I got to go, hey, loser. Uh, everyone on that team is solid. Uh, got them on my radar, just like these other two teams. Next up, I got to go uh, F12 for it. Um, actually, no, I got to put you guys behind us. So I apologize. Oh. I kind of went out of order there. Um, <laughs> no particular order, but he put you last. Is, uh, hair club. <laughs> Hair club. Hair club. There you go. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Hair club. I apologize. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, I, I got, I got to look out for my team. I had to jump, drop week two last season. Um, so I'm glad they made it as far as they did in the first season. We got to the finals. So I got to put us at the first spot, but um, yeah, definitely behind us. Um, I have F2L and then hair club. And then we have uh, a loser and then ghost of fell screams. Cool. All right. Marty, what do you got? All right, so one through five. Corb, me, Neji, Itachi, Rodden. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> but that's, those aren't teams, five. man. Those aren't. <laughs> Although right, I did right, put right. quick top five, that, that I wasn't very specific, but that was good. All right. That was good. Right. So, team. Top five teams. Uh, besides my own, because obviously I have to say F2L. You know, but bias aside, oh, the other four man. teams, I want to say Hey Loser, Hair Club. Everyone's a winner. And let's go Wild THL Fanatics. Go. I think you guys usually are uh, are sleeper, but every single year, or every single season, I should say, you perform. So I'm going to give it to you guys. All right. Mad props. Corbett, with your hard... My, locked in yeah my, top my five. exact order yes yeah um so i mean i know ft f2l made a significant downgrade uh this season uh losing out on ultimate and replacing him with some scrub but i still have to listen to number one i think uh so yeah f2l <laughs> as the number one spot uh next up we have i i think like everyone's a winner i talked about them i think they're really deep as a squad so they're my number two uh third hair club um you know tempest storm and friends and then i think i'll go like four uh, Twitch.tv slash MTG Succulent. Oh, yeah. Get cash. So that's the Ooh. full name. Um, yeah, and that. fifth, I will say, <laughs> Annoyo Team. Um, so, yeah, F2L, uh, F2L, Everyone, Hair Club, MTG, uh, and then Annoyo. Okay. And for my three cents worth, um, no Let's particular go with the names. No particular order. Uh, we're going with the Entertainers. That's a cool name, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hair Club, um, F2L Viridian, Hey Loser, and the last one is going to be. Gosh, where was it? Oh, Everyone's a Winner. That's the other one. So, in no particular order. And I get a little bit, I get a get on uh, more streams uh, for wild series so if any of you guys um are interested in playing in on stream uh, hit up myself marty b uh, lotus knight uh, don day um we're pretty much open oh, Mon- the, monday to friday the, uh, between the, the hours yeah. <laughs> i'm definitely looking to yeah the yeah conference yeah. is hot man oh yeah yeah so at, quick quick uh, quick read from from all you guys which conference is is free is it green or brown? F2L, 
is in green, meaning it's free for them and not free for anyone else. Okay. Mm -hmm. But looking at this, if I were to pick a conference that I'd rather be in right now, it's brown. Yeah, I, I think just at a quick glance, I would say the green conference looks a little bit stronger. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll have to see how the season plays out for sure. Mike? Apologies, you guys kind of went robot voices on me. What was the well, that, that, oh, okay. was, that was the point. <laughs> uh, what was, the, what team would you rather? Uh, what, uh, what conference do you think is stronger, Mike? What conference? Green or brown? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me... Um, the more powerful conference is green, uh, just like my sweater right here, just like the color of money. Got to rock with green. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Agreed. Sounds like uh, most on the same page. Okay. No bias at all. We're definitely not in the <laughs> conference right now. Yeah. No. Nah. So. <laughs> I don't know what everybody's saying. So. I think that sums it up, though. It does. Thank you guys for so much for uh, for joining the stream. After all our viewers out there. Um, and I want to really appreciate Corbett and Marty B and Mike Lowe for taking the time to jump on with me, um, being a, the noob to the Wild Series. Uh, looking forward to the season, looking forward to all 14 teams kind of powering through and see where they land. So, if everybody wants to wave good night or good morning, wherever you are in the world, <laughs> be safe. All Love right. you guys. Have a great Christmas holiday, and we will see you on the wild side. So season starts on the 21st, I believe. So Yes, keep... and it'll be two weeks for the first round. Right. Oh, okay. nice. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, deck submission oh, deadline will be... Yeah, so submission deadline will be Sunday yep. at 11.59 Pacific. So keep that in mind. You can schedule whenever, but... Be, you have to have your deck submitted by then and then just play within that two week period right. cool so. All right. stay tuned take a take a peek in THL Discord for updates and more updates and more and more updates so anyway thanks guys we'll see you guys later